Hi, Bill Hensel here today, one of my YouTube current events videos. This one's not so much current events as a kind of an apology on my part. I usually do my job very well, and I have. But in reviewing my documents, it occurs to me that, especially with the Bill of Particulars, because that's a killer without anything more than this one. You have a right to know the nature and cause of the accusation, a.k.a. jurisdiction and venue of the court, the rules of the con game, the elements of the crimes you're charged with, and most importantly, the identity of your accusers so you can invoke the right to confrontation and cross-examination. That said, uh, the part about the burden of proof that the local dumbass has to establish jurisdiction and venue of the trial court, this goes way further than just a mere recitation of a statute that supposedly got enacted and this, that, and the other. It's not nearly as simple as that, and they damn well know it. Because what we're really asking for is for them to identify the lawfulness of the legislature that enacted the law, the lawfulness of the uh, governor or president, as the case may be, who either vetoed it or went along with it, and the lawfulness of the judicial department of government to make any rulings on it. Because if you don't have those things, what you don't have is a judicial court exercising the judicial power of a state admitted into this union and or the concurrent jurisdiction of an Article Three Federal Circuit Court. No judicial court, no judicial process, Every law on the books is without more a bill of attainder, taking of life, liberty, or property without judicial process. And there's a reason why the 90 parts AA, the U.S. Supreme Court, hasn't made a serious ruling on that issue in 150 years. The last case of that type that I'm aware of is Cummings v. Missouri. I believe it's 4 Wall 277, 1867. How is that possible? There have been no rulings. Another interesting question. A lot of the answer is all the damn state bar association attorneys and the fix is in because they go before their state bar association black robe bastards, aka judges, and all they argue is civil rights, quote unquote. They couldn't care less. And some of them no doubt know exactly what it is I know. No 14th Amendment ain't from day one. I can prove every bit of it. You know, I've got a, a, a supplementary brief on that you can get by getting my document packet. Send me an email, youwinningcourt at gmail.com. And I'll fill you in on what was on there. And I've got an 84 page brief, by the way, 84 pages on admission of new states. Settles the issue completely. There are none. That's Pandora's box. Because without states, they got nothing. And I can prove every bit of it and a lot more than that. So that said, I haven't been as overt as I should have been uh, in raising this point in the pleadings I have. I'm going to be doing some edited versions, and those of you that have my documents will get your complimentary copies. And we're going to make it overt. Because if they don't do it, what they're saying is exactly what I just said. The court doesn't have jurisdiction, and we know the reasons why. And without jurisdiction, all of these quote-unquote official actors are personally liable. That's the U.S. Supreme Court saying it, not me. And that's where we get the badges. How many of you think we have to put in jail or take their entire estate to wake people up and say, if you're going to take a job, a position of honor, profit, and trust in the government and have a sworn oath to be bound by this Constitution and the laws enacted in pursuance thereof, you better damn well do the job. Acts have consequences. Words mean things. Unlike in my hometown of Washington, D.C. these days in the damn 117th Congress and all the BS they got going on there currently with the impeachment of Trump. Well, this is how we get it done. And I've got an approach offensively that's going to do that, too. So you know, send me an email, court at gmail.com. And I'll tell you all about what I got going, how modestly priced my materials are. And hopefully we can work together. But when you understand this point, and the DA in five decades has never even acknowledged any of my documents and never a bill of particulars, let alone tried to answer them, because to do so opens the floodgates.
they have to admit they're wrong, they have to admit they're personally liable. The magnitude of that admission is astounding, and it isn't just your case. Across the board from every quote unquote court in Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon. So I wanted to just get you updated on that. And like I said, my documents will be coming out. The ones you that have them, you'll get updated versions, making it much more specific. So send me an email, youwinningcourt at gmail.com, and we'll get back to you. Thank you.